Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Continuing our team of the season so far, preparation series on the channel today. Today's a big one. We're talking about two areas of the market that a lot of people are very interested in with team of the season coming, prices being low, and when to buy these cards, what to look out for, can you invest in these cards, stuff like that. Today we're talking about team of the season cards and we're talking about icons of all nature base middle prime and moments i have some interesting things i think are going to happen with these cards this year because it's different right in past years the middle and the baby versions have never been out of packs so that's interesting but also i want to talk about team of the season cards when you can buy them when you look to, you can look to find them on the cheapest each week because last year it was copy paste every single week they were the cheapest on this one day, and then they were the most expensive at the end of the week because it all revolved around the guaranteed team of the season SBC. So we're going to talk about that today as well. We're going to kind of split it up into two segments. I'm going to talk about team of the season cards first, and then I'm going to talk about icons second. So I know there's going to be a lot more talk about the TOTS cards, um, so I do want to cover that, but I might spend a little bit less time talking about those, at least at the beginning. Uh, because we kind of have to wait and see what EA wants to do with the guaranteed packs before we really figure out what's going to happen with these cards. But this is the Prem team of the season from last year. A lot of you guys are going to wonder, hey, I want one of these guys for my team. When is going to be the best time to buy them? Because it's obviously when they are in packs. Because again, team of the season, there's so much hype for these cards, man. Even for some of these guys that were in team of the season most consistent, right? Some of the most hyped up cards uh, all year because they're team of the season. They have juiced stats. And even from this Friday, when most consistent comes out, these cards are going to rise out of packs. As you can see here, we're looking at Tellez, Allen, Wambasaka. The Sule card was like the big boy from last year. This was a card last year that just absolutely boomed out of packs. And we'll talk about why in this video as well. And I also want to talk about the SBC fodder level uh because last year in fifa 19 people thought it was going to be like fifa 18 where we had a lot of guys boom in price because of spc requirements i mean they did require team of the season cards in the guaranteed team of the season spcs uh but not for the lower league so these guys were so heavily supplied and there were more and more leagues that came after heavily supplying tots cards on the market so it really didn't cause these team of the season, uh, you know, lower tier or what you would call SBC fodder team of the season cards, they never really rose like they did in FIFA 18 when they were in team of the season. So we'll talk about that first of all, right? This is uh, Reese James. And if you go back and you take a look at like Tots Most Consistent and, and Tots EFL, a lot of people invested in these cards last year because they thought they would rise when the guaranteed SBCs came. And you can look and see what happened, right? People bought these cards up into the midweek. Monday comes and they just continue to fall as nobody really needs them for SBCs, right? A lot of people, you know, they, they stay, they maintain a price a week one because, you know, they're the only team of the season cards out there, but people start to rack up untradeable team of the seasons. They pack them from upgrade packs. They pack them in rewards. Uh, they get them from the lower level league team of the season guaranteed SBC, which were so cheap. It was basically just giving out a team of the season card from that lower league that was in packs. And that's why you saw these cards never uh, really rise on the market. It could be different this year because, of course, there's so much demand for these guaranteed SBCs. But we're really going to have to monitor that situation as it goes. Now, this is the one really, really scummy thing that EA did last year with these cards. They had a minimum price range of like 19,500 coins for a lot of these team in the seasons. What EA did... Uh, during the second or third week of TOTS is they lowered that to 10K. So there were people that were buying loads of these cards at discard because they thought, hey, you know what? A right back English, decent stats. You know, this guy might go up at some point, right? And they lowered the minimum price to 10K and people lost a ton of coins on some of these cards. So in my opinion, I don't want to touch any of these low tier guaranteed. Um, I don't want to touch any of these like SPC fighter team of the season cards right off the bat unless we see something different start to form and then we'll look ahead and start to talk about it but the most important thing is a lot of you guys want to know when do i buy these cards if i want to try them out right the team of the season this is the fluctuation this is why uh, i don't feel like i have to talk about it a ton because literally if you go back and look through these fifa 19 team of the season squads 
it's literally for, for the top league, right? Bundesliga this week, La Liga this week. The major league that came out every single week, the trend was basically the exact same every single week of when these cards were the cheapest in that week, right? So Sule came out with team as he's the most consistent and he was his cheapest on Monday or two, Monday and Tuesday because the guaranteed team of the season SBC for the major league came out on Monday it, without fail every single week. So we had Monday most consistent. The next Monday, we had Premier League because that was the next league. And when the guaranteed SBC comes out, what happens is people panic sell coming out of the weekend because they, you know, they try the card like, sweet, all right, I want to go try some other cards. And they know that probably a guaranteed SBC is coming. That's going to be the case again this year. So we're going to have to watch and see if EA does the guaranteed team of the season SBC on a Monday or a Tuesday, you're going to see some of your lowest prices uh, during that time period. Honestly, it was really good for the market last year, what EA did, making that SBC on a Monday, because you have the weekend league sell-off. Everybody's playing a full weekend of games because they want to try to get the best rank possible to get the best rewards and possibly get better picks and better packs and stuff because all these cards are in packs. Uh, so you have the sell-off really extends into Sunday when usually it would start in kind of Saturday because people would quit weekend league early. And then on Monday, people knew the guaranteed SBC was coming. So this stuff would just get panic sold and because people for some reason think, and we've seen it this year already with the party bag SBCs, is people think that they're going to pack one of these really high level cards uh, from this. They, they think that since they have it in their club, they're going to pack it. They think the price is going to go down because EA is giving them out. When in reality, everybody is packing the low tier guys that are in that team of the season, right? You don't have as many people packing the high tier. And the reward is untradeable, so it's not putting supply onto the market, which then these prices rebound from. And we've seen this a million times in FIFA already this year with like guaranteed party bag SBCs, guaranteed SBCs of all types. Uh, you see a panic sell and a crash and then a rebound. And it's going to happen with these cards this year as well. Uh, so whenever that guaranteed SBC is, when you see the panic selling and when you see that drop off, right? Look what happened from Sunday Tellez was 380 on PlayStation to Monday. My guy was 335,000 coins. You go to Tuesday, he goes back up to 348. Wednesday, and then after rewards into the weekend, my guy on Saturday hits 410K. So he almost goes up uh, about 80,000 coins. Then the next week, he goes even higher uh, with, the, with the links of this card being one of the best left backs, Brazilian left back. There's a continued hype there. The next weekend... He hits 456k, so a 130,000 coin spike from that first week when he was in packs. Now, not all cards rise, right? This Allen card last year was very popular. It did hit its lowest point in packs, and he did rise up out of the weekend league, but really not a much, right? When you see a card here that rises up, you know, 40, 50,000 coins, but then you see a Nicolas Sule go from 140k to two and a half weeks later being 300,000 coins, you're like, hold the phone. How do I figure out who this guy is going to be this year? The reason why Sule went up so much and EA made sure that we weren't going to have this problem this year was there was a lack of center backs in the Bundesliga. All right. The lack of center backs in the Bundesliga. So again, he hit his cheapest on Monday, right? He kind of chilled around that price. And then he went shooting up for the weekend league. He actually got sold off. And I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit too because people thought last year they weren't sure if the team of the season most consistent cards that were from a major top five league, if they were going to get put into the league team of the season squad as well. So people thought that since Sule was in most consistent, he also might be in team of the season Bundesliga, which he wasn't. He was not back in packs. And as you can see, when Bundesliga came out, this man absolutely flew uh, because there were more people building Bundesliga squads. And this was one of the only Bundesliga center backs that would link nicely with the Bayern Munich links, the German links in their squads with, with the new German, uh, with the new Bundesliga team of the season. So uh, we don't have a, a lack of Bundesliga center backs this year, but who could this happen with? You know, Italian Serie A right backs could be a possibility. It all depends on who actually gets in to team of the season most consistent. We'll look at that situation, see if we have any players that get in where they juice the stats or whatever. But uh, again, Monday is kind of the lowest time for a lot of these cards. Even a lower tier guy, right? Wabasaka was part of most consistent. He was his cheapest on Monday as well. He stayed low because people thought he might get included with the Prem squad. Boom. He's not in the Prem squad on Friday. He immediately jumps up 
uh, 30,000 coins into the weekend and just continues to stay high as a, uh, a pacey English right back in team of the season. So if you go back and you look through all of these cards, I don't, I've only looked at most consistent, but I can show you all of these too, right? Premier League, right? Trent Alexander-Arnold, look at this dip, bro. He hits his lowest on Monday and Tuesday. He's 560K on Monday. And the dude, two weeks later, is 700,000 points. Demir Bay, right? A center mid from the Bundesliga. Not the most hype card, but this is like a juiced statistical version of a beast card. And look how much this guy costs, man. 230K instantly booms up to almost 300,000 coins uh, after that. Another one, Danny DaCosta, right? Only 330,000 coins. Goes up to almost uh, 380. So that's a nice weekend rise. And then the top tier cards, if it's a big... Like Havertz had so much hype last year because of the four-star skills and the five-star weak foot and just the crazy stats that his card had uh, and the major boost in stats that, that even his future star was a really insane card. But they juiced him incredibly on his team this season. And look what this does, man. 2.2 million coins all the way up to 2.6 million coins two days later. So you're going to see rises like that this year in this game on foot. I'm promising you right now, you're going to see it. Now you're going to have to decide who it's going to be. A lot of the cards did that. I didn't look at all the graphs, right? But for most leagues, if you go back to the FIFA 19 Team of the Weeks on foot bin and look through those leagues, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see Monday was the cheapest because that was when they had the guaranteed SBC come out. There was panic selling on that day because people thought prices would drop, and then a rebound after that. So we're going to have to figure out what they want to do this year with the guaranteed SBCs, but once we have that figured out, we're going to be able to make coins weekly and also try out those cards and have fun with them in our team. So that's the team of the season portion of the video. We'll cover a lot of that stuff later in the coming weeks as we figure out what EA is going to do with these guaranteed SBCs. But let's talk about icons, because this is another situation this year where we have out of packs cards and we've seen these cards rise already in foot. Uh, we've seen many of them just get incredibly increased in price because uh, of them being out of packs. And this baby Blanc is an A1 example. I'm going to look him up on Footbin right now. And I'm also going to look up baby Eusebio uh, because we talked about this stuff during team of the year and during kind of like the end of foot miss beginning of team of the year when we had a panic selling on some of these um, out of packs baby icons because they went out of packs in December and we saw them getting panic sold uh, headed into team of the year. Baby Eusebio, right? 3.7 million coins for arguably one of the best players in the game. Baby Eusebio, 3.7 million coins down here at the start of team of the year ends up being 5.1 mil earlier last week. Again, crazy, crazy inflation in price and the out of packs nature of these cards really justified that baby Blanc 623,000 coins my guy's back up at 900k a week later last week he was even 822k he's six he was 650 earlier this week uh right now it shows he's 700 on the on the playstation uh maybe we'll find yeah there's one 695 so you know some of these guys have rebounded already but the biggest thing with these baby in the middle icons are i think they're going to rise especially if they're meta right so many coins are injected onto this market during team of the season with the rewards that were, you know, today we, we figured out we're getting the team of the season cards in rewards. So that's huge uh, for this game. But I think that especially a few cards are going to be boomers out of packs. And I also think there's going to be a plethora of prime and moments icons that are actually going to rise uh, during, during team of the season. Now I know that seems crazy because they're in packs still for the prime and the prime moments. And that means they're continually getting supplied, but some of these cards, uh, are not going to be able to withstand the demand because these are still crazy rare cards moments, Ronaldinho. Uh, I mean, there's four of them on the market right now. Uh, if we look at a guy like moments, Rio, we've got probably like, you know, just a handful on the market. A lot of these guys, when you go and look at them, even some of the baby icons now, how many pages of Blanc do we have? I think I went and looked at the, the market for Blanc just a couple minutes ago before I started recording this. And there's like no supply for a baby Blanc card. He had multiple pages of supply earlier in this year. And now he's only got two, barely even two pages of supply for this type of card. Uh, this is a card that I could see going crazy high back over 800,000 uh, coins after team of the season starts ramping up. Uh, and you just kind of, how do you find those cards that are really going to go up? 
uh, especially in you know a market where team of the season cards are going to have better stats than some of these icons. Uh, but icons are still a huge part of this game. You have to look for drastic price differences and position changes, right? This is the cheapest version of R9 Ronaldo. He's 2 million coins right now, just under 2 mil. The next highest version is mid R9, and he's like 6.7 mil. If somebody wants to play with Ronaldo in this game during team of the season, either they're paying 6 mil for this guy or they're paying 2 mil for the baby. I think baby Ronaldo gets back to 2.5 mil at some point in a couple weeks after team of the season. Again, there's no supply. There is a lot of demand for an icon like that, for an icon striker, big name player, meta fits this game. I think you're going to see a rise. Another example, right, of a position change is Carlos Alberto. This is a dude that rose a lot after um, team of the year as well for the position change center back version of his card. And uh, also that this card is just insane, right? You always need Brazilian center backs. We might get a Telez team of the season, right? You might need to link your Telez with your, your Allison team of the season that could come out, you know, with your Van Dyke. So you might need some extra links to Brazilian left mid, right mid. Brazil is a big, or left back, right back. Brazil is a big na uh, nationality in this game for linking. So having a guy like Carlos Alberto as a position change center back, uh, I think a lot of people are going to end up using this card and I think it's going to spike again. Uh, but I think most icons are going to actually rise up from the middle and the baby range. Even this Makalele, right? If it's meta, it will rise. I was looking through a lot of graphs uh, from last year for the moments cards, for the baby cards, uh, even some of the babies and middles last year that were pretty meta cards actually rose during team of the season just due to the sheer amount of hype now it wasn't it wasn't a massive rise right but here look at this we have a middle george best who by by the time team of the season comes around right this is just an okay card middle george best uh right at the beginning of tots 596k on the playstation right two weeks into team of the season he's up to five six hundred ninety three thousand coins so the dude went up about 100k in two weeks during team of the season and yes his price does fall back off after that as the game starts to go downwards you know, the hype kind of dies. Um, but again, as I keep talking about this higher tier market's going to get a lot of coins. Last year, we even had Icon SBCs. Like this Blanc had an Icon SBC. Look what happened during May. Startup team of the season, 925,000 coins. Remember, French center back. A lot of French links are needed last year in foot and even this year in foot too. So many French cards they've been putting out. Starts at 925 at the beginning of team of the season ends up hitting 1.2 million coins and is, you know, up over 100, 150, 200,000 coins two weeks after uh, team of the season starts. So I think you're going to see rises like that. And on the top, upper tippity top tier of icons, we had rises as well. Now on, on, place, on Xbox, it's really hard to tell with this graph because Moments Real was like a dinosaur there. But with PlayStation last year, he was actually consistently on the market so we can follow this blue line. Start of team of the season, uh, actually during the during the first lighting rounds of team of the season, uh, he he takes a hit down in price. He goes from about nine million on PlayStation down to eight mil flat or eight point three, and during right before Prem Tots eight point one mil right there, and then after Premier League team of the season, this guy just starts to rebound. He goes from eight point one mil on the PlayStation all the way back up to ten million coins during team of the season. So some of the guys like a Hullet or like. This year, I think that kind of price is good. This is that's going to be Ronaldinho. I think last year's Hullet graph that we just looked at, this Dino card with the position change, with the dynamic image, and with the just how meta this card is in game, I would not be surprised if this Ronaldinho card goes back over to 10 million coins. I would not be surprised at all. Now, some of these cards, it's really tough to tell, right? Because you're like, okay, these these icons, you know, people have coins now. They're willing to splash the cash on these. Uh, but does a guy like Baby Eusebio, who has been extinct, not Baby, Moments Eusebio, who has been extinct for a long time in this game this year, but now has had multiple pages on the market. This guy's been like 12 mil in the past week. What's this guy going to do? Is he going to be 15 million coins again? To be honest, I would not be super surprised if he did get back up close to, you know, to 13, 14, 15 million coins and actually sell there. At least for this week, I mean, I'm pretty sure Eusebio has been in the 11s and 12s. I don't watch this card that much, but I'm sure he's been there. It looks like he's been 13 mil most of the day today. Um, but 
this is the type of card that once people open their team of the season rewards multiple weeks in a row, it's just going to start causing inflation. People are going to be able to afford these cards again. So I do think you're going to see a an uptick in basically all icons in this game. It's a, if it's meta and if it's usable, uh, especially for the mid and the baby versions, I do think you're going to see these go up. Baby Blanc, right? This is a Blanc center back card. People love this center back card in a game. This guy could easily be 900,000 coins in a couple weeks um, just because of the French links that are needed in this game. And the icon, you know, just the icons have like a different feel in FIFA, man. They really, really do. Moments cards as well, bro. Blanc, uh, Ferdinand, any moments card that is really meta because a lot of moments this year have massive upgrades, right? Even a guy like Moments Rush who has caught a lot of hype this year for his massive upgrade over the prime. This guy, this might be a dude who continues to, to drop a little bit this week. You see some undercuts during lightning rounds, and then you see them sky. So I think if you want any of these icons for your team, you need to get acting uh, quickly in these next few days, uh, or be on the lookout for undercuts and snipes when packs are opened this weekend during most consistent team of the season, or if you want to wait a little bit longer, you can maybe wait until Prem Tots when we have lightning rounds and a bunch of packs opened then. But if it, if you wait too much longer after Prem Tots, I think these guys are going to start going upwards in price uh, because Icon Moments this year are just on another level compared to last year. And I think the really meta ones, uh, the ones that you know you see in a lot of guys' teams and are very, very popular icons, are going to start to rise up and they're going to rise up quickly especially those baby and mid cards just because they're very rare on the market and uh they're still very usable and still very applicable in this game and since they have no more supply i really like these cards rising um during team of the season i really do because a lot of these icons maintain demand even though we're going to have team of the season cards with better statistics the icon links and just the icon like just that card in FIFA always draws people in. So that's how I feel about icons. Get them early. Uh, look for snipes during lightning rounds. If it's an impacts prime or icon moments, if it's a baby card, try to catch them on the weekend league sell off this weekend. If there is any open bids, uh, get on some of those late nights and uh, just look for undercuts on those because you might not see much because any supply or downturn in price on those is going to have to be supply driven. Uh, not because there's uh those cards are getting packed, but uh, from a weekend league sell-off sort of thing, because these cards are not in packs, and that's a first this year for FUT. So I think you might see a big rise on those. Hopefully you enjoyed this video today, right? Lots of information. I feel like I was talking the whole time, which, you know, this is a YouTube video, so I am talking the whole time, but I feel like I talked a lot in this one. Hopefully you were able to absorb the knowledge, and we're going to be covering this stuff uh on the dot as it happens every single day during team of the season as well. So not just now, I'm not gonna stop after this. We'll be watching these cards very closely during team of the season as well. But those are my thoughts on TOTS cards and icons for team of the season. And if you guys are looking to buy them, that should give you some insight uh, as we get into most consistent team of the season coming tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.